Hallelujah. You're welcome. It's another Friday. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good day. Wherever you are, whether you're joining live or you're joining later, whether it's one day after, 10 years after, the word of God is still alive and relevant anytime you get to listen to this um, broadcast. Welcome. Welcome. Let's just begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. It's our time of communion. It's our time to break bread together. Let's just pray in the Holy Spirit. Le pre keteli brash toro bo 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 re ka ba 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 le pro shoto koro bo 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 mante keli agashin tali kaya ba 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 re ke ke le bro shoto koro bo 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 mante keli ba ba le ke le bo 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 maraka ba le pro ko shekele ba 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 ye sekeli ba 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 le pro ko shekeli ba 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 ye le pro so to ko ro bo bo sheke ya ba 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 le pro ko sente keli ya ba ya ba 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 le pro sheke ta ya ba 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 le pro so to kara ba shi na la ta ya it's always a blessing and a privilege to approach the throne of grace to approach this beautiful table of the lord let your heart rejoice let your heart be glad for this opportunity to commune with the body and the blood of jesus Man pre ke teli ga 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 li pro shokoro bo sente re ka ba 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 le pro ko shanda la ba yete ora ba 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 le pro soto koro bo sheke le ba 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 oh hallelujah hallelujah God is a good God hallelujah amen amen there's always an invitation. There's always an invitation from our Lord into his presence. And this invitation, we can read from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. He says, therefore, let us with privilege approach the throne of grace. It's an invitation. Come. It's an invitation saying, come to that throne of grace. That is the throne of God's gracious favor. We know, we believe as we have come into this beautiful time and altar, we have come to obtain his favor. We come with confidence. We come without fear. We come without that feeling of condemnation. It doesn't matter what accusations have gone before us. We are confident because we know that the blood of Jesus Christ has dealt with every sin in our lives. So we're not afraid to approach the throne of God. We come without fear. We come with confidence so we may receive mercy for our failures and find his amazing grace to help us in this hour, our time of need and appropriate blessing coming just at the right time. God is such a beautiful father and we that just bless him that we can come before him. Father, we thank you this morning, this afternoon, this time, oh God, that we can come with boldness into your presence. We are not afraid. We're not ashamed because we come by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant. We come to obtain help. We come to obtain mercy. We come, Lord, to we come, Lord, to obtain mercy. We come to receive grace. We come to receive favor in this very hour, oh God. So we are grateful for this time. We thank you, Lord. This is the appropriate time for each one of us. This is the time. The time is now that we need to talk. We need to uh, approach you. We need to just receive comfort from you, our Father. We thank you, oh Lord. Thank you for this hour. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Today we are looking at this um, 
the fact that we have been anointed with the oil of gladness. Life throws curves. And sometimes we may just find that things around us cause us to lose our joy, cause us to lose that essence of um, our being, that God himself is a God of joy. He's a God of laughter. He's a God that exudes um, so much joy. It is his desire for us to have the same. It is his desire for us to be glad. And let's just look at a couple of scriptures. Hebrews 9 verse 8, but to the son he says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. This is talking about Jesus. God anointed Jesus with the oil of gladness. If he had to anoint Jesus with the oil of gladness, that means it is necessary. We read in scriptures that Jesus, for the joy that was ahead of him, endured the cross. He endured whatever situation he may be going through because there was a greater joy from within him. And in Colossians 2 verse 6, we, we read, it says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Walk in him. You have received Christ. Walk in him. Rooted and built up in him. Established in the faith as you have been taught. Abounding in it with thanksgiving. So walk in him. Jesus was anointed with the oil of gladness, so walk in him. Jesus was given um, the ability, he is God, but he had to be anointed, so we walk in him. And as we partake of the communion table today, we partake of the fullness of Christ. We partake of the spirit of gladness and joy. So you would not leave his presence without the impartation or infusion of gladness. We must not commune with him or with his body and his blood without experiencing gladness. Heaviness must be lifted. Oppression must be destroyed. It must be lifted off our shoulders. Amen. Whatever has caused you or myself to feel downcast, it has to be overtaken by the oil of gladness because we walk in him. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. So as we receive communion today, we make a decision. We decide that we would be glad. We make a decision to rejoice always. We make a conscious thought, I will rejoice. I will be glad in him. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So let us first of all start by just giving praise to our God. Praise him for who he is. Hallelujah. Father, I praise you. I lift my voice to praise you. I lift my voice above the weakness of my flesh to exalt you. We do this because sometimes we don't want to praise him. Lord, I praise you. I feel weak in my flesh, but I choose to praise you. I come before your presence with singing, with rejoicing, knowing that you are God. You made us and we are the people and sheep of your pasture. Oh, Ramash. Declare, I enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Hallelujah. And what are we thankful for? I am thankful for who you are. I give you glory for who you are. I am thankful for all that you have done. I am thankful for life. I am thankful for the thoughts that you have towards me. I'm thankful for the forgiveness of my sins. 
I am thankful I have been redeemed by the blood. I am thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my children, my spouse, my grandchildren. If you have, and if you don't have yet, you are thankful for them. I'm thankful for, for every day food, clothing, shelter. I'm thankful, oh God, for eternal life. I am thankful that you dwell inside of me by your spirit, oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Give thanks because he's El Gibor. He fights our battles. He leads us in triumphant procession in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are the one that fights all our battles. Bless his name. I bless your name. You are holy, O oh God. You are righteous. You are merciful. You are good. Oh, Ramashi Kalaboske, Kekekekekeke. Oh, Rabba Baba Baba Leprokosaga. You are just and you are true in all your ways. You are good and your mercy is everlasting. Your truth endures to all generations. Give thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you, O oh God, that you are with me. Thank you, and with you there is fullness of joy. There is fullness of joy. I want you to just release yourself. Release yourself to allow. Do you know something? The joy is in you already. He has anointed you with the oil of gladness. It is in you, but you need to allow yourself to experience it. Yes, you made us glad. You made us glad. You made us glad. He has made us glad. That song goes, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. And I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. And he has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. God has made us glad. I want us to bring out our communion emblems right now. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. First Corinthians 10, uh, I think verse 15 says, The cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? And the bread which we break is it not the communion of the body of Christ? I remind us that the cup, the drink, the wine, the juice that we take, Spiritually, we are partaking of the blood of Jesus. And the bread, when we break, we are partaking of the body of Christ. It's a powerful thing. It's a mystery. But yes, he gave it to us to empower us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, let us lift it. Therefore, we lift this cup before the Lord. Father, we thank you for the cup. We thank you for the bread. We ask your blessing upon it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lead the bread as we pray. In that day, he took the bread and he gave thanks. He broke it. Then he gave his disciples and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. As we partake of this bread, we partake conscious that is carrying the soul and the life of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We discern the Lord's body correctly. Amen. Let's take of the bread. Amen. Likewise, he took the cup again. He gave thanks. Thank you, Lord, for this cup. He gave his disciples and said, this is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. And as we partake of this cup, we partake conscious of the fact that it is carrying the soul and the life of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We discern the Lord's body correctly. Amen. Let's receive the cup. Mm. 
Hallelujah. We should be rejoicing. We should be rejoicing. We are partakers of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. We celebrate the Lord God Almighty. We celebrate Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this ordinance of communion. Uh, we have a book, Let Us Break Bread Together, which is available on Amazon. Please remember to get your copy or get for somebody, from which I'm going to just pray this prayer. I have eaten the flesh of Jesus and I have drunk his blood. I have eternal life. I proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. I eat the flesh of Jesus. I drink his blood. And so I dwell continually in him and he in me. As Jesus lives through the Father, we also live through Jesus because we are nourished by the body and the blood of Jesus. Jesus, you are our bread, the true and the living bread. We have life and we have it in abundance. And it is no longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. And by this communion, we are partakers continuously of the blessings of the covenant in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We're going to take three powerful short prayers in the next few minutes. The first one says, my hope is gladness. Proverbs 10 verse 28 says, the hope of the righteous will be gladness. But the expectation of the wicked will perish. Let's go into prayer. Declare, my hope for any situation will be gladness. <laughs> my hope for any situation will be gladness. God has prescribed gladness for me. The outcome of any situation, if you are looking at a situation right now, speak to it and say, the outcome of this situation is gladness. The outcome of my job is gladness. The outcome of that interview is gladness. The outcome of that conversation is gladness. The outcome of that meeting is gladness. The outcome of my going to the hospital is gladness. The outcome is gladness. Everything might be speaking to the negative, but by the reason of the covenant, I declare that the outcome is gladness. I have been anointed with oil, the oil of gladness. I declare that my hope for any situation is gladness. Psalm 37, 37, the uh, TLB version says that um, my, my future is wonderful. I have a wonderful future with a happy ending. I have a wonderful future with a happy ending. It doesn't matter what the situation may be. Yes, I declare my hope for any situation, any and every situation is gladness. I will rejoice. I will be glad for myself, for my spouse, for my children, my grandchildren. This is joy. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in the name of Jesus. Declare it. My hope is gladness. My hope in this situation is gladness. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Declare, I shall obtain gladness. So Isaiah 51 verse 11 says, So the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, amen, with everlasting joy on their head. Hallelujah. You hear that? Everlasting joy on my head. Say to yourself, everlasting joy is on my head. Everlasting joy on the head of my family. Everlasting joy, ceaseless joy. It's a covenant thing. Rakoba, Taya, Kabru, Soto. This is the promise of the Father that I have everlasting joy on my head. Hallelujah. They shall open. Obtain joy and gladness. Do you hear that? Sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Amen. Amen. Declare I am anointed with everlasting joy on my head. On my head. 
on the head of my all my children, on their families. It's everlasting joy. It's everlasting joy. Nothing will steal my joy. Nothing will steal the joy of my family. Nothing will steal the joy of my children. God has prescribed joy for us. God has not planned sorrow for me. God has not planned sorrow for my children. The Bible says that sorrow will flee away. I obtain joy. I obtain gladness. I'm a covenant child of God. I obtain joy. I obtain gladness. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away in Jesus' name. I want you to establish that. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Sorrow and sighing flee away from my family. Sorrow and sighing will not find any footing in my family. Sorrow and sighing is not permitted in my house. Sorrow and sighing is not permitted in the lives of my family, in the lives of my children, in their homes. Sorrow and sighing, you are not allowed. You are not permitted in the name of Jesus Christ. Any plan to cause pain in my life and my family, it will not prosper. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus. Any plan to cause pain, any plan to cause sorrow, it will not prosper in the name of Jesus. Sorrow and sighing are not allowed. The Bible says you will flee away. Begin to declare, I bind any demonic entity that is assigned against me or my family to steal our joy, you will not prevail by the power in the name of Jesus. Any assignment to steal our joy, any assignment to steal our gladness, you cannot prosper. I have been given gladness. I'm anointed with gladness. You cannot take it from me. What God has given me cannot be stolen. I have obtained joy. I have obtained gladness. Hey, yagata kataga, reke bahata. Now welcome it in your home. Welcome joy in your life. I welcome joy. I welcome gladness. Come my home. My home is filled joy and rejoicing. I heard in my home, heard in my borders. He abosh kalabri heskita. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Oil of gladness instead of mourning. That is the anointing on us. Isaiah 61 verse 3 says, to console those who mourn in Zion. That is the anointing. Jesus Christ said, I have been, uh, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to do these things. To the, the oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they may be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. Some versions say, like the ears, it says, the oil of gladness for mourning. Let us pray. Ah, hallelujah. Declare, I am anointed with the oil of gladness. I command every spirit of heaviness to lift now in the name of Jesus. I want you to be determined. Whatever has caused you to feel downcast today, it comes to an end. It is overtaken by the spirit of gladness, the oil of gladness. Amen. I'm anointed with the oil of gladness. I command every spirit of heaviness to lift right now in the name of Jesus. Declare the oil of gladness breaks the yoke of oppression and depression. I'm anointed with the oil of gladness. I rejoice. I am glad. My children are anointed with the oil of gladness. They rejoice. They are glad. Depression lifts. Oppression cannot stay there. 
declare, I refuse to be oppressed by the devil. I refuse for my children to be oppressed by the devil. I refuse for my family members to be oppressed by the devil. Oh, rabba, 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 heart takes over. Gladness of heart takes over. Gladness of heart takes over. Overwhelm my family. Overwhelm my children with gladness. Overwhelm my children with gladness. Overwhelm me with gladness. Overwhelm my spouse with gladness. Joy, joy, joy unspeakable. Joy unspeakable. That thing that has prevented joy in my home, that thing that has prevented joy, today it comes to an end. The joy of the Lord takes over. Gladness takes over in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be oppressed. I refuse the oppression of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Declare, I refuse to be sad. My children will not be sad. My spouse will not be sad in the name of Jesus, I take authority over a spirit of sadness. You will not prosper in this family in the name of Jesus. Declare it. I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to be weighed down. I refuse to be to allow past or present issues to weigh me down. Free yourself, lose yourself from anything that wants to weigh you down. I refuse to be weighed down. It doesn't matter what's going on in my career, in my business. The joy of the Lord takes over. Gladness. Gladness. I am glad. This is the day the Lord has made. I choose to rejoice. I choose to be glad. I choose to rejoice. I choose to be glad in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be anxious. I refuse to worry. I refuse to think about the things that will cause me to be anxious. In the name of Jesus, I'm anointed with the oil of gladness by the Holy Ghost. Pray as you understand. Pray as you need to pray. From today is gladness. Gladness. Ah. I receive that power to be glad. It's already working in me. It's at work in me. It is rejoicing. It is coming out. It's showing in every place. I am diffusing the fragrance of the knowledge of Christ everywhere I go. Joy. Joy in the Holy Ghost. In mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's just give thanks to God. Give thanks. Give thanks for gladness. 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 Oh, yes, yes, yes. Anytime you feel down, anytime any member of your family is feeling down, get them on this. Break bread and speak and declare oil of gladness, joy, rejoice. And remember, Colossians 2, 6 says, if we have received him, then we walk in him. He was anointed with gladness. So we walk in gladness in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, finally, we are before the Lord. We've come to obtain help. We've come to obtain mercy. We've come to obtain favor. Let's bring our special request before the Lord. Jesus, he declared when he was to pray for Lazarus to come alive, he said, Father, I thank you. You have heard me. So before you start to pray, have it in your heart that God has already heard you. Father, we thank you that even as we present our request to you, we know you have heard us because you know our hearts from afar off. You know our request and we are persuaded that you have heard us and you respond to our need in the name of Jesus. So I, I mute myself for a few minutes so you can pray and I can also pray. Okay, let's pray.
name. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. I begin to say thank you. But I thank you that you have heard me. You know what I've just prayed. You, I thank you, Lord, that you will not fail. You are too faithful to fail. Thank you for hearing every prayer request. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Yema, can you see it? Um, you're asking for um, the... Um, so what was the first prayer scripture reference in Proverbs? It is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous will be gladness. You're good? If this is your first time, please remember, thank you. Please remember to um to like the no, no to subscribe and also like the video. Thank you very much. Okay, it's so good to see all those who are on today. Bless you, Sister Cheese of Us, Sayema, and everyone who has joined on today, to Sister Funke, Sister Moji, to everyone. I can see a number of you, but I can't see your names, but all the same, I appreciate you. Have an amazing weekend, and I look forward to breaking bread with you again this time next week. God bless you.